Dogs are universally adored. And it's easy to see why. They are the most joyful and incredible creatures on the planet. Offering unconditional love. All they seek in return is a little affection. Whether you have a dog or know someone who does. You've likely experienced the joy of being greeted. By these beautiful creatures when you step inside a home. While dogs may have a special bond with their owners. They can also extend their affection to friends. Remarkably attuned to human emotions. They can sense when you're feeling down. Slowly approaching with their little legs. They might gently rest their head on your lap. Almost asking. Are you okay? Human. A bit of petting from these furry friends has a magical way. Of lifting your spirits. And watching them joyfully scamper around the house can. Bring boundless happiness. For one man. James Pack. His love for his two dogs. Blaze and Bailey. Was unparalleled. However. A sudden and life-altering situation struck when he. Suffered a heart attack. Faced with health challenges. James realized it would be challenging to care for his beloved pets. Despite assistance from his family. The difficulty persisted. And reluctantly. He had to consider putting them up for adoption. In a heartbreaking turn of events. James reached out to both the SPCA and the First State Animal Center. Knowing that parting with Blaze and Bailey would be incredibly painful. Yet. In the midst of this challenging time. Something extraordinary occurred. Ultimately changing the course of their lives forever. The looming question of what would become of Blaze. And Bailey persisted in James Pack's mind as he faced a. Moment of dwindling hope. Diagnosed with a heart condition. Pack understood that his life was bound to change. And the inevitable loss of everything he held dear was on the horizon. Despite the known bravery of James Pack. His deteriorating health led him into a realm of despair. The light in front of his eyes dimmed day by day. And he found himself yearning for a miracle to lift the curse. That seemed to envelop him. Little did he know that someone. Somewhere. Was attentively listening to his earnest prayers. James Pack. A Navy veteran with service in Vietnam returned to his hometown to pursue his dream after completing his military duty opting to study construction management he embarked on a path toward his dream job in the construction world despite being aware of his heart condition he was determined to pursue this career however as his health worsened he transitioned from construction work to become a driver while Pack had never envisioned having a pet. His life took an unexpected turn when he encountered Blaze. The Labrador Pitbull Mix. Just eight weeks old. Captured Pack's heart from their very first meeting. Holding Blaze in his arms. Pack sensed a unique connection. Realizing that they both needed each other. From that day forward. Blaze became an integral part of Pack's family proving to be the perfect addition. A year later, Pack received a call from the adoption center where he had first adopted Blaze, setting the stage for a new chapter in their lives. The woman from the adoption center wanted to assess if James Pack was ready for another adoption. Initially hesitant about the idea of bringing another dog into his life, Pack eventually visited the adoption center. As he turned his head, he noticed a cute newborn puppy attempting to emerge from a small crate. This sight changed his mind, and he decided to provide Blaze with a friend. Enter Bailey. Little did he know that this decision would shape the fate of this once happy and sweet family. Years later, Pack awoke in a hospital room.
having been admitted after a heart attack that left him unconscious for days. His immediate concern was for his dogs. Accustomed to seeing Blaze and Bailey every morning. Their absence raised his anxiety. Despite his fast beating heart. He learned that the SPCA had collaborated with a local animal organization to rescue both dogs until he recovered. While relieved, Hack remained worried about their well-being. Assured that he would be fine in a couple of days. Life had different plans for Pack. Even after five days, his health showed no improvement, preventing him from personally picking up Blaze and Bailey from the dog care center where they were being looked after. Concerned the caregivers contacted the doctors three weeks later to inquire about Pack's condition. The doctors conveyed to Pack that he had contracted an infection. And unfortunately, his condition showed no signs of improvement. The uncertainty of events loomed. And despite Pack's persistent inquiries about Blaze and Bailey, the doctors hesitated to share the disappointing news. Due to concerns about the potential impact on Pack's heart, they refrained from divulging the information. The SPCA and the First State Animal Center found themselves in a challenging situation. Weeks had passed since Blaze and Bailey were brought to the center and the caregivers. Aware of Pack's situation felt helpless, understanding the difficulty of the circumstances. They reluctantly concluded that Blaze and Bailey needed a new home. The decision to rehome the dogs added another layer of pain to Pack's already difficult situation. As if the separation from his pets wasn't enough. Another wave of bad news arrived for Pack. One morning, he realized that the left side of his body was becoming temporarily paralyzed. The night before, feeling slightly better, Hack had requested the doctors arrange a call to the SPCA the next morning, expressing how much he missed his dogs. However, lying on the hospital bed with a temporarily paralyzed left side, Hack knew the conversation would be challenging. Despite the difficulty, he seized the opportunity, determined not to miss the chance. Although it was challenging for the SPCA staff to comprehend Pack's words, they listened attentively, recognizing that he was inquiring about Blaze and Bailey. The response from the SPCA reassured Pack that Blaze and Bailey were in good hands and still with them. This news brought immense relief to Pack. And he expressed his intention to return soon to reclaim his dogs. However, the SPCA faced the challenge of holding on to Blaze and Bailey while Pack was in the process of recovering. The weight of this situation made Pack impatient, as he eagerly awaited the day he could be reunited with his beloved pets, believing that they were safe. Lindsay Carruthers, a worker at the SPCA, expressed concern for Pack's situation, recognizing that he had no one to care for his two dogs. Pack had to surrender them. Carruthers, in an interview with the Delaware State News, shared that the news about Blaze and Bailey had a positive impact on Pack's recovery. She also had praise for the dogs, describing them as super adorable and well-trained, highlighting Pack as a good human being. As the days passed, Pack, eager to reunite with his dogs, anticipated meeting Blaze and Bailey. However, after being in the hospital for over three months, the extended separation weighed heavily on his mind. Concerns lingered about whether the dogs would recognize him or if they were still in the shelter. Upon reaching the shelter, Hack discovered that his pets were no longer there. Anxious, he waited for information on their current location. Learning that Blaze and Bailey had been transferred to 
PetSmart for a better chance of adoption. Pack faced uncertainty about whether they were still at PetSmart or had already found new homes. The staff at PetSmart were impressed by the dog's training and behavior, marveling at how well Blaze and Bailey had adapted to their surroundings. Surprisingly, Blaze and Bailey had not yet been adopted. A fact unknown to Pack. All he yearned for was the opportunity to hold them in his arms once more. Filled with hope, Pack went to PetSmart to reclaim his dogs. Explaining the situation to the staff and how Blaze and Bailey ended up in their care. Touched by the story, the PetSmart staff were moved to assist Pack in reuniting with his dogs, resulting in an emotional return. Carruthers shared the emotional reunion, describing how Pack, filled with high hopes, returned to find the dogs excitedly welcoming him. It was a heart-touching moment that left everyone in tears. Pack, prepared to take Blaze and Bailey back home, soon realized he didn't have a place to call home however. His hard work had secured a place that allowed him to keep his dogs. Initially considering living in his car for their sake. Pack was now overjoyed to have both his dogs and a house. To share with them. However. The happiness was short-lived. The reality set in that Pack needed to pay an adoption fee. For Blaze and Bailey. PetSmart. An organization facilitating dog adoptions. Had set the price $201. This amount posed a significant challenge for Pack, who had spent three months in the hospital, depleting his savings on medical bills and losing income due to his absence from work. Despite his efforts to gather funds, he fell short of the $201 required desperate to reunite with his dogs. Pack pleaded with PetSmart to accept whatever money he could offer immediately and promised to settle the remainder. Once he secured a job, the harsh reality of rejection struck Pack deeply, highlighting the insensitivity of the world through his own struggles. The true owner of the dogs couldn't reclaim his beloved pets. And despite his determination, Pack left the store with teary eyes, grappling with the heartbreak of losing Blaze and Bailey. Despite the emotional setback, Pack remained resolute in his quest to find a way to bring Blaze and Bailey back into his life. The memory of their emotional reunion lingered in his mind, and the faces of his dogs haunted him. Sitting in his care an idea struck him he decided to sell his car to salvage yards. However, before he could finalize this decision, an unexpected turn of events unfolded. Melissa Eagle a worker at the SPCA, had witnessed Pack's emotional reunion with his dogs and was deeply moved. Determined to assist Pack in overcoming this heartbreaking situation, she reached out to him. All she wanted was to help him achieve the happy ending he had longed for over the past three months. As days passed without a solution in sight, Pack's impatience grew. He turned to prayer, visiting the church and pleading for the return of his dogs. It seemed that his prayers were heard. As a change was about to unfold, thinking he had accumulated enough money, Pack returned to the store, ready to pay for the adoption fee and reclaim his dogs. However, the store refused to accept the money, claiming it was still insufficient. Exhausted and losing hope, Pack found himself at a breaking point. In tears, he begged the staff, his voice breaking as he questioned why he couldn't have his dogs. The weight of the situation became too much, and through heavy crying, he lamented, I can't, I can't have my dogs expressing the deep pain he felt after enduring so much. 
the situation seemed surreal as Pak stood in front of the staff with pleading hands. His eyes desperately searching for his dogs. A glimmer of hope crossed his mind as he thought this might be the moment. But the staff appeared heartless. However, there was another side to the story. Despite the initial appearance, the staff also felt the pain Pack was going through and revealed that he was actually going to get back all of his money. Surprised by this revelation, Pack questioned, why keep the money and give me my dogs back? It was then that he mentioned Melissa Eagle, who had been willing to help, realizing that the veteran would struggle to afford the cost of retrieving his dogs. The store decided to lower the price. Pack couldn't believe what he was hearing and stood there in anticipation. With Melissa Eagle actively involved in the story, she hoped to find another kind soul willing to assist her and Pack. That's when Chris Malik entered the picture. Covering all the expenses. The generosity didn't stop there. People rallied to help Pack move forward in life. Standing at the counter. Pack witnessed Carruthers pulling out a variety of items, toys. Treats. Gift cards. And food. Volunteers from various shelters had come together to provide these gifts. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Pack stood in tears, feeling life once again pulsating in his heart. It was a moment akin to Christmas and New Year, happening simultaneously. As Pack gazed at the gifts, the sudden sound of Blaze and Bailey barking filled the air. The two dogs came running to him, and everyone present was moved by the overwhelming joy of the reunion. Blaze and Bailey's excitement upon seeing Pack was so intense that they pushed him down. Joyously looking at him, laughter and tears of joy filled the air as everyone present shared in the overwhelming happiness. After all, the dogs had finally reunited with their dad after a prolonged separation a moment that would be etched in their memories forever. However, the surprises for Pack and his fur babies didn't end there. The SPCA and the First State Animal Center, established in 1953 to aid both animals and humans, became the sole authority for animal control and management in Delaware in 2005. Upon learning about Pack's heart condition, these organizations extended their help. Discovering the Delaware Commission for Veterans, Pack secured employment with their assistance, allowing him to provide for his family once again. For veterans like Pack, these organizations are always willing to offer support. As Pack was about to leave the store, another surprise awaited him the doors were blocked. Astonished by this turn of events, Pack was taken aback by surprise after surprise, erasing the hardships of the past three months. From the moment he arrived at the store, his journey was captured on camera, documenting every emotional twist and turn. Overwhelmed Pack hugged every single person present, grateful for the unexpected blessings. The surprises didn't end there. Melissa Eagle who had captured the video, posted it online, where it resonated with people from all walks of life. Inspired to do more, she created a GoFundMe page. In just two days, they raised over $7,000 for Pack and his dogs. The heartwarming story went viral on social media, leading to an invitation for Pack. Melissa and the dogs to share their beautiful story on Fox and Friends, spreading their tale of resilience and reunion with the world. The poignant story of the unbreakable bond between humans and dogs extends beyond words, as exemplified by a picture that touched millions of Americans in August 2011. 
at the funeral of Navy SEAL John Tumbleson. Attendees were left in awe witnessing the unwavering loyalty of a dog for his owner. The dog lay beside Tumbleson's casket until the end of the funeral. A display of devotion that spoke volumes about the deep connection between the two. The dog, undoubtedly missing Tumbleson more than anyone, left an indelible mark on those who witnessed this heartfelt scene. Another remarkable tale unfolds with a dog named Captain who managed to find his owner's grave despite never having known the location. Every single day, at six o'clock in the evening, Captain faithfully visits the resting place of his old master. The mysterious means by which Captain accomplishes this remains unknown. But the undeniable truth is that Captain and his owner shared a profoundly beautiful bond. Teacup, another canine companion, was in a car with his owner and two other people when they met with an accident. Amidst the chaos, Teacup managed to escape through an opening created during the crash. Remarkably, he never left the sight of his master, faithfully following his owner to the emergency room, illustrating the extraordinary lengths to which dogs will go to be by their human side in times of need. Bams too. A Norwegian minesweeper played a crucial role during World War II when the captain was set to leave with Bam Z for a different posting. The entire crew became so disheartened that they mutinied against the captain. This mutiny turned Bam Z into a legendary figure in Dundee and Montrose, where he and his owner were stationed. Bam Z with a specially made bus pass tied around his neck. Rode buses alone. Not only that, he took it upon himself to ensure that drunken sailors made it back to their respective posts. Bob, a canine with a unique obsession for trains, puzzled many. He would follow railway workers to their job sites and stay with them until their work was done. Eventually, he was adopted by a kind station guard, allowing him to travel freely on trains, a journey he seemed to thoroughly enjoy. In 1695 Street, Bernards had a crucial job to rescue travelers lost and buried in the snow, operating in pairs. One dog would help the person out of the snow and provide warmth by sitting on them while the other would head back to the monastery to inform authorities. Barry, one of these street, Bernard's, saved around 40 people. Then there's Oni, a male-loving dog who became obsessed with the scent and texture of mail bags on mail wagons and trains. Oni is perhaps the only dog known to have traveled through the entire United States, following the mail routes with great enthusiasm. 